Hi, it's Jordan here at Rywick Copper Land Rover in Halifax. So here we have a 2011 VW Tiguan. It's the 2 litre TDI 4 motion. It's in black and we'll just take a look around the car. Uh, so down at the front wheel, we've got some kerb damage there just across the top. Uh, but I think the rest would clean off. Uh, we've got no major damage. That mark there would clean off. Uh, but the tyre, we've got a good 5.5mm on that tyre. Up at the wing mirror cover, we've got some slight scuffs. And just there, the one which is just a little bit deeper, uh, would benefit from a polish, would that? Across the top of the door, we've got some scuffs. I'm not sure if they will polish out, uh, but they would look better after a polish. We've got a slight dent just to the top of the door, uh, which would require a bit of touching in. And it's also chipped away just there. Uh, it's starting to rust is that, so that would require seeing to. Uh, on the back door, we've got the same scuff across the top. And we've got some chips just to the back edge there, which would require touching in, and one which is a very small dent. Down at the back wheel, we've got no curb damage there. Uh, just wants a nice clean. We've got the centre cap, which is just bubbling up. And the offside rear tyre is a good 7.5mm tread. We've got a light scuff to the quarter panel there. And round the back end, we've got some scuffs to the spoiler at the top, which would require polishing. Uh, and some scuffs just there and down at the tailgate we've just got a scuff which is just there which would require polishing also we've got some scuffs just to the top edge of the bumper there on the loading bay uh, nothing major nothing too deep round at the quarter panel on the other side we've got some damage there just towards the front edge uh, which is a dent and we've got a scuff there which I think would polish out down at the wheel We've got a few marks on it, but no curb damage. And I think that would clean up quite nicely. And the tyre has got a good 7mm on that. Down at the door, we have the damage there that just follows onto the door. So that would require repairing. It's just creased it and it's also scuffed it. And we've got a chip there also. We've got a big scratch there, quite deep. Uh, I don't think that would polish out just to the back door some very minor scuffs there which would polish out towards the front door we have a very light scuff there which I think would polish out and up at the mirror cover that just wants a nice polish also we've got one there which is quite deep but it would benefit from the polish would that and we've also got a small dent there just to the front of the door and it's chipped it also we've got some very light scuffs there on the wing which would require polishing uh, down at the front wheel We've got no curb damage on that, no serious curb damage at all. We've got a few chips there, but I think that would clean up quite nicely. And that tyre's got a good 5mm on it. It's just running a little bit low to the edge, but we've got 5mm tread. Down at the front bumper, we've got some scuffs just to the front edge there. Uh, so that would require polishing and maybe a bit of touching up. And around the front of the car, we've got some stone chips. And just to the front bumper, on the other side again, just a few stone chips. And to the bonnet, we've got a few minor stone chips again. Uh, we've just got a chip to the back edge of the bonnet there. And there's a few marks just on the trim also, running upside next to the window. The windscreen all looks in order. Just take a look in the boot of the car, which is all in order. We've got the parcel shelf in place. And we've got all the wheel and all the kit there in the boot. And in the back of the car again, all nice and clean, we've got no tears or anything in the cloth. Uh, we've got the rubber mats in there, and we've got the pull-out table on the back seat also. And we'll just jump in the front of the car, so the front seat again, we've got no rips or tears or anything in the seat. We've got some slight wear there, but nothing all major. And we'll just jump in the car, and we'll start it up. So we've got no lights on the dash, all in order. We've got the 55,196 miles. We've got the entertainment system there in the middle. Uh, we've got the phone that can link to that also, uh, the radio and the media system. We've got the DAB. Uh, we've got the aircon system there. The electronic handbrake. It's a manual car. We've got no damage in this inside that I can see at all. So there you have it, guys. The 2011 VW Tiguan. The 2 litre TDI 4 motion in black. Thank you.